Straight to your top story tonight. Now that the El Pueblo Boys and Girls Ranch has been permanently shut down, more and more people are coming forward with their stories, painting a better picture of the treatment center that's been in question for more than a month now. News 5's Lena Howland is breaking it down for us. She joins us live in studio. Lena. Well, we've heard from former students, parents and employees speaking out over these allegations of abuse. Tonight we're hearing from one former substitute teacher who says it wasn't safe for employees either. The last straw was when I got a hit hit in the head by one of the kids. Christian Post used to teach at the El Pueblo Boys and Girls Ranch. Based on the number of times I had been assaulted, it was way too much way, way too much. She says she was assaulted three or four times by her own students and each hit came without consequence. There was no protection for staff. Even after she says she filed a report, nothing was ever done, not even an apology. They didn't listen to the staff at all. There was a time when she felt like she had no other place to go. I did it at that time because I needed the money. And that was the only reason. And she knew something wasn't right. I've worked with disabled kids for quite a while on top of that. And to see how they were not getting the support that they needed was disturbing. After she was hit multiple times, her son, a former deputy for the Pueblo County Sheriff's Office, told her to leave her job over fears that El Pueblo would not report any issues with their students. They do not have consequences. They don't want to. They don't want to lose kids from that department uh, because if they change that kid to another facility, they lose the money. After their license was pulled in September, the state says when the number of abuse and neglect accusations increased, El Pueblo's overall engagement and cooperation decreased, adding that the treatment facility failed to provide a safe environment for children, permanently shutting them down a month later. That didn't surprise me. Not at all. But she still hopes these children can get the help they need in better hands. Those kids have a right to, to have treatment and they have a right to have be treated with respect because they came from homes that probably didn't give it to them. And the El Pueblo board president released a statement yesterday saying the state's investigation was incomplete, inconsistent and inconclusive, but they won't challenge the decision. He added they will not challenge the department's actions, calling it a waste of resources and also saying the allegations against them have caused irreversible damage. Zach. Lena, thank you. We have been closely monitoring the situation at El Pueblo and we'll continue to bring you any new developments or changes in the status of the program. Meanwhile, we have comprehensive coverage online for you right now. Go to KOAA.com to get up to date with all of our previous stories.